So a long-standing frustration of designers is not being able to extend a photo, a stock photo that we found to extend to the canvas that we're using, whatever that canvas may be, whether we need a bleed extended to the end, whether we're adding on areas so that we can add text or type or other elements, but extending a picture and making it look nice has long been a challenge for designers. Now, as a graphic designer for 23 years, I've found some creative ways of doing this. I've used the stamp tool. I have repeated photos and blended them. So there's many ways to do that, but now Photoshop has come out with an AI version. It's Photoshop Beta, and I'm gonna show you the potential of what it can do. And it's literally mind-blowing for designers and literally changes the game. Now, this is particularly true for my book cover clients. I do get a lot of book covers, and when you're extending that design from the cover to the back cover, this works perfectly. So I'm going to show you what I did with the Photoshop beta AI. Okay, so we're going to try out this generative fill in the new beta version of Photoshop. So it, I've used it a few times, but it's so cool. So we're going to try it on creating the back cover and spine of our book cover. So whenever I do a book cover design, I do the front cover first. And then once we know the final page count, because that determines the spine width, then I create the spine and the back cover. And it's usually a stretch, not stretch, but a further version of the front cover. So it bleeds onto the, the spine and the back cover. And usually how I do that is I would have to duplicate the front cover image and kind of blend or stamp, or make it seamless into the back cover. So we're gonna try it with the new generative AI and see if it creates a background that blends in perfectly with the front cover. So let's try this. So we're gonna go to the selection tool. We're gonna use the rectangle marquee. And we're going to select the area that I really want to do the generative cell. So you don't have to type anything here because generative fill just means create a background that matches the rest. So I love this feature. It is so cool. We're going to hit generative fill and then we hit generate. And then it's going to take some time and we're going to see how this turns out. Oh my gosh. Like I could never have come up with that. I would have had to duplicate to make up the rest of it. So it, it the AI generated a background that matched this photo that I found on stock photo site and it came up with the back version. Photoshop beta is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This looks awesome. Okay, and that's what it looks like when we add the back cover text, the spine text, and the ISBN information. But yeah, I really love how the background turned out. I highly encourage people to use the beta version of Photoshop that's out now and use the generative still. So let me know in the comments below if that was helpful. Also, if you have a question about Photoshop or book cover design or website design, I pretty much cover everything. I've been a graphic designer for many, many years. So let me know if you have a question particularly below and I would love to make a video about it. Thanks, have a great day.